Today I'm going to show you how to make a healing herbal comfrey salve that is great for all types of skin rashes, burns, cuts, and bruises. This salve uses just two ingredients, comfrey infused oil and beeswax. The comfrey infused oil can be either slow cold processed or it be a quick heat infused oil. I prefer the quick method and we use that one today. Note that I'm not a doctor, this is not a medical advice, this is just an ointment that my family uses, and we enjoy the benefits of it over expensive purchased ointments. It is for external use only, and comfrey should never be used internally. I will now start by going out to the garden and getting some leaves, and I'll be right back. I'm going to pick about six leaves off of this plant here, because I want young tender leaves before the plant goes to bloom. So this plant here is a perfect choice to get those little leaves that I need to start the uh, process of making comfrey salve. Today I'm going to start the process of making some comfrey oil salve or balm as it's frequently called. The ingredients I need for that are some uh, comfrey leaves which I went out and got some uh, tender leaves off of uh, new plants that have not yet bloomed. Need a jar to put it in to infuse the oil and use organic uh, unrefined cold pressed coconut oil as a medium for it. So the first thing we need to do is cut up these comfrey leaves and pack them in the jar and then fill the jar with oil and put it into the warmer. This is a very handy little uh, crock pot mini warmer that we picked up at the thrift shop. I think I paid a dollar for it, but it uh, works beautifully for heating the oil without cooking it so that uh, it infuses the oil. So I'll get started first with cutting up some comfrey leaves and then uh, packing them in the jar and we'll see how that goes. I grow a lot of comfrey, so there's no need for me to go out and buy comfrey leaves when I have a, a large patch of them growing in my garden. I use them for mulching in the garden. I use them for making compost, and then uh, we're going to use them to make this healing salve. Uh, comfrey salve is a very, very good salve for a lot of uh, conditions such as burns and bruises and uh, scrapes, things like that. Insect bites, it's especially good to uh, stop insect bites from, from uh, itching and uh, heals them very quickly. And if you've not used Comfort Salve, uh, you should really look at it for such things as bruises and uh, scrapes, scratches, and, and uh, such as that. The uh, one uh, disclaimer is uh, do not take Comfrey internally. The FDA has determined through their extensive testing with mice, which were fed a diet of Comfrey, that uh, too much comfrey uh, causes uh, liver disease and other uh, ailments. And uh, so you want to avoid the alkaloid that's in the uh, comfrey so that you do not have uh, any in internal damage. And also, uh, if you have an open wound, uh, like a open cut, do not place the comfrey salve on that open wound because the uh, comfrey will be... Uh, carried into the bloodstream and in, into the body, and you do not want that. As you can see, the uh, process of preparing the uh, comfrey is very easy. Uh, some people say that they take the uh, uh, center veins out of the comfrey. Uh, I've not seen a reason to do that because all I want is the uh, infused oil from these comfrey leaves, and the uh, stems are just as good as the leaves for of that infused oil. There we have enough leaves in the jar to uh, start the uh, infusion process. Now I'm going to add the unrefined organic uh, coconut oil to this. This will take a while to melt down into this jar. I've placed uh, some of the coconut oil in the jar and I will now set it in the warmer and the uh, coconut oil will liquefy and melt down into the jar. 
and as it does I'll add more uh, coconut oil to the uh, jar to make sure that it totally covers the uh, leaves that's in there. To make the salve that I'm going to make I need one cup of uh, infused oil, comfort infused oil, and one ounce of beeswax, which I forgot to put out, but I do have the uh, beeswax here ready to go. You can see the coconut oil is already uh, starting to melt, and uh, it won't take long to get it melted down and, and to put into the into the jar. I have the thermometer on this uh, warmer just for my own curiosity uh, to make sure that it's only going to get to the uh, warmer uh, part of the station and not uh, overheat and cook the leaves. We do not want them cooked. So I'll pause this momentarily as the uh, coconut oil melts and then I'll come back to it as, uh, as we get it going. The coconut oil is mostly melted now. It's been about five minutes. I'll add a little more because I want to make sure that the uh, two things, one is the leaves are totally covered with uh, coconut oil, and the second is that I need a cup of it uh, for the infused oil when I start to make the uh, salve. Uh, I'll comment here that you don't have to use coconut oil. Uh, if you do, use uh, cold-pressed uh, unrefined coconut oil, but you can also use uh, virgin olive oil if you prefer I uh, have made the salve out of uh, uh, virgin olive oil before. I just didn't like the smell of it. I smelled somewhat like a salad when I used a salve. So I uh, prefer the smell and the texture of the coconut oil, which seems to be a better uh, blend for me. So now we've got to let this melt again, and I think we'll be ready to go. Once this is melted, then it has to set for at least 24 hours to infuse the oil with the uh, comfrey leaves that I put in here. So I'll uh, pause this again and let the uh, coconut oil melt again and then we'll start it again. It's been another five minutes or so and the oil as you can see is all liquid now. So I'm going to now press down the leaves in here and make sure that they're fully submerged in the oil and that they're fully mixed in so that there's no air bubbles or anything inside of the a jar. The leaves are fully uh, submerged as you can see. Uh, they, they're soaking in the oil and this infusion process uh, which is called the quick inf infusion of uh, comfrey leaves. Uh, the slow method uses dried leaves. I uh, use fresh leaves with the quick inversion method. There's no air bubbles in there. Uh, the leaves are uh, totally covered in oil. And so now we will allow them to soak uh, for a full 24 hours. And uh, due to my schedule tomorrow, it'll probably be closer to 30 hours uh, when we get done with this infusion. And then they'll be ready to go into step two. And that is taking the oil, uh, draining the oil off of these leaves and mixing them uh, with the uh, beeswax into a uh, double boiler and stirring it making a salve out of it. Uh, as you can see I have the beeswax here. This is a one ounce cube. Uh, one ounce of that works with uh, one cup of the uh, oil uh, which has been infused. If you want a softer salve uh, instead of hard uh, use a little less than an ounce and it'll make it softer so the less beeswax makes a softer mix uh, the more beeswax makes a harder mix. So we'll let this set now for at least 24 hours, and then I'll come back and uh, film part two of this. Okay, we're going to start uh, part two of making the uh, comfrey salve. The uh, comfrey oil uh, has been infused for 30 hours, so it's ready to go. I have a uh, pot set up like a double boiler that I can mix the uh, honey and the uh, 
uh, oil together and then blend them and we'll uh, cool them off and put them in their jars and have them ready to go. So first thing I need to do is to measure to make sure I have one cup of infused oil. I have a measuring cup here and I have a strainer to prevent the uh, leaves that's in the jar from coming out into the uh, into the oil. There is the one cup of oil. These uh, comfrey leaves will not be wasted. They'll go into the compost and be uh, uh, composted and make some very nutritious compost. So, uh, even though they will not be used for this uh, project, they will not be wasted. We have our one ounce of beeswax, which we'll put into this pot and uh, start melting that and blend that with the uh, comfort infused oil. Beeswax melts at a very low temperature, so it will not take long for that to uh, melt and uh, be ready to blend in with the uh, with the uh, oil. I'll pause this for just a moment while that starts melting, and get ready for uh, blending them. Okay, the beeswax is all melted, and it's all uh, liquefied now, and so we'll add the. Uh, infused olive, uh, coconut oil to it, which uh, will now stir that together to make sure it's completely mixed. And we'll turn off our heat on our uh, double boiler, we won't need that anymore. And we now have a good mixture of oil and uh, beeswax in our uh, double boiler pan here. We we'll let this cool for just a couple minutes and then we'll pour it into these jars. I have uh, uh, two ounce jars and we should be able to fill four of those and probably have a little left over. Might have to get a, a fifth jar to uh, hold the balance of it and use that uh, first. Uh, this has a very long shelf life of probably five to six years. I've never had one last that long, but I would imagine that would be a, a, a pretty much an average uh, lifespan for or, uh, for this salve once it's uh, produced.
I have just a little bit left over, so I'm uh, going to grab another jar real quick, and uh, I'll pour the rest of that in there, and I'll use that jar first. There's a spare jar, and we'll pour the balance of this in here. About a half of another jar. So now we've got them all poured and ready to go. Uh, we'll let them cool down, and then I'll come back and show what they look like after they've set and uh, cooled off. Okay, all the comfrey salves have cooled down. They're set up. They're a beautiful color. And... Uh, Get this up close, you can see the beautiful color of it. Uh, makes a beautiful salve. Uh, these have a shelf life of uh, five to six years. Uh, this jar here will be used first, being it's uh, only about a half a jar, and I'll use that one first. And the rest of them we'll store and uh, keep and have for our uh, use for uh, burns and rashes, etc. So that concludes the process of making uh, herbal comfrey salve. Thanks for watching.